a hit. That was a hit, but he's still moving. He's shooting the wrong tank. Or he's still he's shooting the wrong tank. He's just shot. Crossing in front of you. Crossing, crossing, crossing. Uh, Infantry in the trench go around it. More armor up north. If you're coming from the old point, <laughs> oh, that's clear. Enemy on mosquito, enemy on mosquito. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice shot, yeah. nice shot. Alright, squad. We got a Oh my god. That poor bastard. Oh, I don't know that they are here, but. Oh, I think I see a hat track. Attack my car. Uh, it's a uh, lodging. What is it? Lodging. Oh, enemy? Yeah, yeah Lodge. Yeah, MSB west. Do west. You can see it. Oh, yeah, yep, yep, yep. Eyes on. There's one guy laying down right side of the MSB. I'm gonna kill him. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Alright, so this first one is a little bit of a basic, but I want to go ahead and get it over with because I see plenty of people not doing it, or at least not doing it correctly. And that is how to make a proper contact report. The triple D's and the ABC's. Okay, so this first one is important you do in chronological order. And I'll explain in a second. So you first you give the direction the contact is, then the, the distance, and then the description. So it'll be something like uh, straight ahead, north, northwest, uh, 100 meters, uh, MSP, two infantry. Okay? And you want to keep it accurate, brief, and clear. Now the reason you want to keep the, the, the 3Ds in chronological order is, say you go down while giving your uh, contact report. You want the most important stuff to get out first. Like, say you're in local, you're giving it out in local comms, uh, and other squad members and other people you're fighting with can will be able to hear it. Because you're not going to be able to talk to them. You can only talk to your squad if you're dead. So keep that in mind. You want to give out the, the 3Ds and keep it accurate, brief, and clear. Yeah. One ran left. Oh, on the tree line. Oh, no. Attack marker. One guy inside the bush. I got him. He's down. He's down. Squad leaders, this is important. Make marks. If you're looking somewhere, just hold down T and throw down a mark. A sloppy mark is better than no marks. And you can convey a lot more information on the map quicker and easier than using comms. So, always make marks, guys. I got the attack mark. Guys, go down. Stay, uh, don't give up. Come ahead. Fuck, I missed. Yeah, Lodgy truck right at us, I think. Nice shot. Good job. Just letting you know, I'm approaching with squad four. Oh, look at him! Nico, come look at him. Nico, look at this. Look at this dude. Whoa, dude. He's doing the fucking crab and the fucking. Dude, that guy got penetrated by bullet so hard. <laughs> what the hell? His his face is completely red. Uh, he's stuck his face in the pool. That's so funny. Uh. All right, for this next one, it's another beginner basic thing, but I feel I have to say it. Smoke grenades. Very important, especially if you're tacking. Get your smoke grenades out, preferably before you die. Everyone claims to know this, but I see 90% of people not doing it. So, smoke grenades, smoke grenades, smoke grenades. Always use your smoke grenades, and preferably before you die. Smoke some way. Give it about 30 seconds before you move up. Fire about 100. It's fine. Right. All right, so you heard the commander call for smoke, which means, and if he just caught it in the next seconds, 30 seconds or so, the smoke will be coming down. In this moment, everyone is supposed to be getting into position, getting ready to charge, getting ready to throw their life away into the attack. Oh, shit, hang on. Hang on. I'll go ahead and him. straight across that road. There was a guy. All right, so notice how that machine gun is humming overhead. That is very important in attack. It's called uh, fire superiority. Once you get into contact, gain fire superiority before you do anything. I'm 
want to see if I can get this guy up. Where I'm at is like a death lane, somewhere we can catch our breath. It's like a hill slope right here. All right, so this is it. Artillery smoke is landing. You always know that the maximum is five. So once that fifth one hits the ground, get your ass up and attack. Come on rally. I didn't actually come on rally if it comes up to it, but just be careful. I'm pushing in. I'm on the point. I'm on the point. Right behind you, B. Yeah, just over, overtake it with force. We are capping. That means they're not here. Push up, push up. Right there, right there, in the bushes, to the right, to the right, to the right, in the bushes, yep. Yeah, I'm just dancing shoot, because I can't see it. Grenade. Watch your nades, watch your... Alright, so this one's kind of the last of the more beginner um, tips and tactics. But um, I see it kind of overlooked too. But um, generally when you have the option to switch between a semi-automatic and an automatic weapon, you generally want to be running around the um, outside with semi-automatic on. And then when you go into indoors in tighter situations, switch over to automatic. Again, this is more just a personal preference thing. I did see that. Alright, so real quick, don't be afraid to blind fire. You got plenty of ammo, and all we want to do is get lead down range. You'd be surprised what you hit. Don't be afraid to blind fire. Shoot! Alright, so this next one is another personal preference one, but I find it extremely useful. Set your iron sight or scope uh, bolt action rifle to 200. Even when you're for close range, you just aim low. That way, whenever you find somebody streaking in the distance, you're ready to pop a shot at them and your iron sight isn't in the way. So, it may be a little confusing at first, but I typically run around with my bolt action rifle or my scoped car or my scoped Lee Enfield. I have it set to 200. That way, I can just aim low if they're up close, and then I'm ready for somebody streaking in the distance. And it comes use, comes in handy all of the time. Nice. Nice. Alright, Scotty there. I got a motherfucker at my location. I'm down. Who's my, the medic? New rally's down, boys. That's what I hate when people say me or my. I don't know who's talking. Yeah, so just a little tip. If you're going to refer to your body um, as, you know, making a contact report, uh, don't say my, because we can't always look down in the bottom left of the screen. We might be in a gunfight or something like that. So uh, if you're going to refer to your body uh, to make a contact report, please use your name or your position even. The medic, something. Use your name. All right. Sounds. Oh, I see him. I see him moving. 
they're coming they're coming out of that regular road out of Kirk, right towards the medic. So you're probably asking yourself why I'm using the inferior MG34. So to close this beginner course out, I'm gonna give you one advanced tip. The MG34 is probably the most easily controllable of all three of the handheld machine gun. So after I show you some mounted controlled bursts, I'm gonna show you what this beast can do from the freaking hip. The guy's south. Right, 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 right. They're taking the point, boys. <laughs> How did you survive that? God damn it, there's enemies close. Boys, we're trying to get a rally up. This thing is a freaking beast up close. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. All right, so that's going to conclude our little beginner uh, tactics and tips video. I hope you enjoyed and learned a little something. But um, next week, maybe even sooner, we're going to delve into more of the advanced stuff. Some uh, team strategies and even more personnel tips. And I think you're going to like some of the stuff I have to share. But anyway... Until then, if you're interested in playing um, with like a regiment or platoon, a more immersive, uh, realistic atmosphere, be sure to check out the boys over at Easy Company. It's a wonderful time. They have events two, three times a week. And it's not only post-script, and they play other games like Squad and Hell Let Loose. So be sure to check them out. They're a lot of fun. Links in the description.